Hello, and welcome to step four of the research project. At this point, boys and girls, you should have created your folder on Google Drive. You've selected a topic, and you've even read and taken some notes on the first source or article for your research project. So we're off to a really good start. What we need to do now is create a research question. This is going to help us to narrow down the focus of our topic into something specific that we can do our research on and eventually write our research papers about. To help us understand what that means and how to do it, go ahead and click on the link here for creating a research question. This is going to bring you to a Google Doc, and I recommend you click the box with the arrow so that you can open it in a new tab. Once you've done that, you're going to see some directions here. The first thing is to click on File and select Make a Copy. The reason we're doing this is that this Google Doc is view only. We need to fill out information on here, so you can't do it yet. In order to be able to edit it, you need to make a copy. And once you make that copy, we're going to save it to our Research 2018 folder. Just like the directions say, I'm going to go over to File and then Make a Copy. The name, you can keep it the way it is here, or you can change it if you like. The folder that it's going into, that's what we need to change. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to look for my Research 2018 folder right here and click Select, then OK. Now that you've made your copy, it's going to open up in a new tab. You can actually go back to the old one and exit out of it. You won't need it anymore. You can start by putting your name and date. Today is January 8th. 2018 while I'm making this video and your period let's say I'm in period two then let's take a look at all the information below I have some tips here for you to help you figure out how to create a strong research question so let's read it together a strong research question should be opinion based not fact based you don't want a question that can be answered in one simple sentence should begin with how or why. That ties into the first point. How or why questions are open to interpretation and are going to give you more options for how you answer it. Should be clearly connected to your topic. So whatever your topic is, your research question needs to be based on that topic, but it will narrow your focus to something a little more specific. I know some students, for example, picked World War II as their topic. That is a huge topic and it would literally be impossible for you to write everything there is about World War II in a three to four page research paper. So our question is going to be something specific that you can tackle in three to four pages. It should be something that you can find information on. We're mostly using the Gale databases and perhaps some other websites or books or videos along the way. So if your question is really obscure or hard to find information on, you won't be able to successfully write your paper. And lastly, it should be interesting and engaging. Just like your topic choice, it needs to be something that you want to learn about, that you're excited to learn about, and that hopefully other people will enjoy reading about after you've written your paper. So using this information, tell me if each of the following research questions are strong or weak. So I've got a chart down here, and you're going to fill out these two columns. I filled out the first one as an example. Let's say my topic is Gandhi. Remember learning about him in sixth grade? Great. Let's say the research question for my topic is, what is nonviolent protest? This is going to be a weak research question because it is fact-based. I can answer that question in one or two sentences. That doesn't make a good research paper. The other reason that this is weak is it's not specific to the topic. Yes, Gandhi used nonviolent protests, and he wrote a lot about it, and other people kind of followed his example. But he's not the only one to use nonviolent protests, and the Indian Revolution or Indian Independence wasn't the only place where nonviolent protest was used, so it's not very specific. Now what you're going to do is continue through the rest of the chart, read the examples, and fill out the strong or weak and why. After you've done that, go to the second page. This part now gets specific to your research project. So tell me again what your topic is. Give it some thought. 
tell me the research question you want to answer, and then explain why you believe this to be a strong research question. And when you fill that bottom part out, definitely look back and connect it to the bullet points up here. If you're struggling, even after you fill this out, to come up with a research question, please raise your hand and call me over. Please also look back at that first source that you picked for your topic. There are probably lots of pieces of information in that source that you could zoom in on to create your research question. But like I said, any questions or any assistance needed, go ahead and raise your hand and call me over and I'd be glad to help. So let's get to it. Let's make some good research questions. And thank you so much for watching.